We've got a question here from William who asks, are there any more planets outside the solar system? And if so, what are their names? Now, when I was your age, when I was young, the only planets we knew of were the ones in the solar system. We didn't know if there were any planets around any of the stars in the night sky. But over the last three decades, we've suddenly discovered that planets are everywhere. Pretty much every star that you see when you look up at the night sky will have planets moving around it. In fact, as we're recording this, we've confirmed more than 4,100 planets orbiting other stars. That's a huge number, but it's actually just the beginning. Our galaxy alone contains more than 400,000 million stars. And we now know that all of those stars have probably got planets. So by the time we find them all, we're going to be finding trillions of alien worlds. As for what they're called, well, most of them have really boring names at the minute. Their names are catalogue numbers, so astronomers can say which star they're around. So you have such famous planets as HD 181433b and HD 8799c. You have planets with names that are just catalogue numbers. That's changing too, though, very slowly. The International Astronomical Union has run a couple of competitions to start naming some of the planets we've found. My favourites, though, are three planets found around something called a pulsar a dead star, the corpse of a star. It's very Halloween-y. And the three planets that were discovered around this pulsar, as a result of the competition, were named Drow, Phoebita, and Poltergeist, after different kinds of the undead in different mythologies. So a dead star with dead planets has planets that are named after the undead in mythology, and that's kind of cool. It's a really cool question.